Hi there and welcome to episode 38 of our Prison Architect Let's Play series. Alpha 20 has just been released and what that gives us is, it gives us some reform uh, guides I guess, some grades is what they're calling them. So any random prisoner here we can see a punishment, reform, security and health uh, bars here. So punishment uh, looks like it's mainly made up of years served although we've got a penalty where we've got a little bit too much free time so that's working against us for punishment but 37% free time gives our prisoners one penalty I think we can probably live with that uh, reform it looks like this guy's got two points because he's passed one easy program uh, security is a zero because well it's just unchanged uh, it looks like it's made up of uh, the amount of time spent locked up the amount of time in under armed guard or suppressed uh, but also you can have penalties if they misbehave or get involved in riots I guess uh, then we've got health which is well fed exercising and being well <laughs> being injured uh, so that's pretty cool so we've got that grading there we've also got this grading page here but I guess because we've got no prisoners released yet and we need 10 prisoners released before this report can be compiled so um, let's have a quick look at some of these prisoners you have a 53% chance of reoffending. You have a 34% chance of reoffending. There's a 34. What are you? 61. 2% chance. He's he's doing well. Um, 16. So I think we're doing all right actually. 4%. 94%. Well, actually, this guy's a pretty bad chance of reoffending. Um, but I think on the whole, 57. I say that we're probably average, I guess. And the more time that we spend in our current way of life, I think this will this will get better over time. Um, Three percent chance of reoffending, but yeah, I mean the punishment it probably won't improve um, that much. The whatever they're at at the moment will probably say the same because we don't have that much punishment in our prison. The reform will probably get better because we've got a lot of reform programs on the go, and eleven percent of stay working. There's actually you know we have a lot of work time in this prison so that should probably get better uh, security again we'll probably say the same as so will health oh no health I reckon will get better actually because we do feed our prisoners well and we do exercise them quite well as well so hopefully those things will get better and we'll be able to grade our prison quite well and we're spending a little bit of money on trees but that doesn't matter because we have two hundred twenty thousand dollars in the bank at the moment so what are we going to do today well this is pretty much finished, this maximum security prison. Uh, but what we can do is over here we can open up some more land. We can buy 100 meters by 160 meters for $80,000. We'll do that. And what we'll probably do is build some sort of minimum or either minimum or medium security prison on this side of things. I've got an idea for like a minimum security prison with some very nice prisons, uh, some very nice cells with, you know, inbuilt showers, that sort of thing. Uh, so I buy this and let's get started. Okay. Just starting the day with a mass recruitment drive. These new guards look completely different from our old guards. Why do you guys look different? You have stab vests and our old guys guards do not. Wow, that's interesting. So the guards that have been there for a while don't have stab vests, but the new guards do. That's um that's odd. <laughs> But fair enough, I mean, we've got 100 guards without stab vests now and 50 guards with stab vests. So, yeah, there's uh, I've also done a little bit extra deployment, so there's more guards assigned to the kitchen now. Let's assign... Four, five... Uh, yeah, let's assign 10 guards in total to the yard area because that encompasses most of the actual... Um, most of the landmass. And then we've got various guards, extra guards in every single one of the common rooms as well. Let's put another one in the... Let's put another few in the kitchen, actually. Uh, another one over there. Just, yeah, spread the guards out quite... Yeah, let's spread them out nicely. We've still got 50 guards not actually doing anything. Not actually assigned to anything. But, uh, yeah, let's make the, make the place a little bit more secure. I love this immediately when the prisoners wake up. They all have serious complaints, and it's because they haven't had a wash in a while. So they get a shower, and then uh, it all goes down. Yellow is nearly gone. And there we go. Everyone's had a shower now, so no one's unhappy anymore. There's still 129 with serious complaints, but that's because they are hungry. And when they get fed for breakfast, they will all be fine as well. Okay, so here's the plan for the first wing of our 
new wing, I guess. Uh, so what we've got is 10 cells up the side there, and there's going to be 10 cells here, uh, the middle of which is going to be a yard, so each one of these cells is going to have a door as well as a window, so we're actually improving quality of life there for the prisoners. Each one of the cells is going to have a little separating wall in the middle as well. We're going to have like a toilet here and a shower here, so they're going to have all the amenities they need at all. So that's what the, each one of the cells is going to be like, and then at the back here we're going to have a power station and a cleaning closet and a laundry room and maybe water, but we, you know, we found out that we don't really need water. And to be honest, the laundry room and cleaning cupboard, I, I don't think that we're actually going to end up using the laundry room if, if that's what that one's like, but uh, I guess we could zone things off and stop people from coming there, but uh, yeah, I think this is what this is going to be like. What I may do is move this up a little bit so that it's in line with this area here, and that'll make this bottom bit in line with this area here as well. And then we've got a wider entrance area, and we could actually put stuff in that entrance area as well. So we could have maybe this whole hallway here can have can be common room, that sort of thing. Um, there will probably be some sort of kitchen slash canteen area in the middle somewhere as well. Might have to figure out where we can actually fit those. So we'll move all this stuff up a little bit and see how much space we actually have left after that. Okay, new plan. We're going to have a much wider area in the middle here, and that will have all of our amenities in. That'll contain a canteen, kitchen, that sort of thing. I think I put that on the right side, did I? Yes, that's 16, and that is 16 as well. Yes, that's in the middle. I want to remember where these doors are. And then we're just going to have 10 uh, cells per side there, so that's 10, 20, and then down here it's going to be 10, 20. And then they're going to have the yard in the middle, but no no nonsense at the end there. We're not going to need massive amounts of power for these cells, I don't think so. In fact, this is barely used, so this could actually power these this these new cell blocks, um, but they won't be able to power, it won't be able to power everything. Uh, so when we actually put a kitchen in here, we won't be able to power that. But this is a good start, I think. Uh, so we'll start with this and see how we get on. The actual plan for the cell is not going to change, so we're still going to have little dividing walls around here, that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah. Foundations of our giant H are coming along nicely. It's like a big, long, stretched out H. Um, what I've done here is built the walls a little bit further out than the cells are actually going to come to. And when they're all finished, we're going to demolish all those walls, so we've got kind of a an area that's just outside the cells but still inside and that area is going to be nicely paved uh, we're going to use fancy flooring for these for these bits down here and then we're going to have the doors on each of the edges so uh, a little bit of a nice touch to to make our um to keep our you know low security prisoners in yeah to keep them happy and it looks like these trucks are starting to back up a little bit but luckily we've got plenty of fridges and plenty of food still in our kitchen so it shouldn't cause as much too much of an issue uh, but we are using up all of our workers to build these foundations at the moment uh, it look like they'll be finished fairly soon though although yeah no that's that's mostly done that's mostly done we'll be finished soon okay we have a new influx of prisoners now which brings us just over the 500 mark 506 out of 640 in fact and yeah we're still looking really good. We've had a couple of fights overnight, actually. Um, not nothing big, just a little couple of altercations uh, between the guard and a prisoner or two. And we are auto saving at the moment, so we will wait for that to finish. But the lag is getting quite bad now with 500 prisoners. Uh, food is a little bit of an issue now with the 500 prisoners. I think that our kitchen is just about at capacity now. I am having second thoughts about having 500 max security prisoners. Um, tempted to drop them down to normal security. And how many? There's 499 max security at the moment, um, and seven normal risk. So potentially bring these down to normal risk, and that'll make the prison a lot safer. Uh, but then it won't be as difficult. So not sure really. Um, I have to think about that one. But this new cell is looking beautiful. Check this out. So what we have is, I don't know if we can actually see it, yes, let's just reveal it a little bit with the light. So we've got a, a nice big sofa, a TV, uh, there's a bed with a phone booth and a bookshelf in there as well, there's the toilet, the shower and a drain for the shower. And it's all beautifully furnished there, 
uh, marble flooring, some white tiling in the sh in the toilet area, and some metal flooring in the shower area. And there's also a window there as well. And the window looks very odd. Maybe that's an in window. I don't know. Uh, but it doesn't it doesn't look as good as it could do. Uh, what they could have done is you know maybe remove some of the wall to build a window. I'm not sure really, but it uh, looks quite good. And on the outside we've got our mosaic tiling just like we wanted it and then followed by some paving slabs and followed by a nice grassy area. So it's looking really cool this area is now. Um, the utilities obviously aren't done yet. I've started on the utilities if we have a quick look at them. So there's piping all around and there's electrical cable all around as well and uh, we just need to actually link it up so the, there's electrical cable and piping to there we just need to actually finish that off and, and actually you know link it to the rest of the system uh, but I think we'll build some more we'll build some more cells before we do that uh, so that we can bring them all online at the same time okay just putting the final touches on the electricity and the piping here so hopefully We'll see some light. Yes, we will. And it didn't use that much. It probably used about, I don't know, 10% of the capacitor uh, of the power station. So, yeah, it all looks pretty good now. And everything is plumbed in as well nicely. Uh, so, as we struggle with lag, there we go, that's a little bit better. Um, I guess the only thing that remains, oh, there you go, he's getting stuck again. Unable to install the drain as we lag away, and he's the same there. So hopefully, oh there we go, he's been able to install it now. Uh, so, I guess the next thing to do is go to our reports and open the prison up to low risk prisoners as well as maximum security prisoners and let's designate these as cells. So what we need to do there is we'll go to deployment, we'll have minsec only as all of this area here and that's a little bit annoying the way it's done that uh, but all of these cells here are going to be minimum security and these are really oddly distributed maybe there's some missing walls or something that people haven't quite finished yet um, but that will be minimum security this will be minimum security as will all of this down here and then all of this over here will be maximum security uh, we'll leave the holding cell and all the areas in between as both because there are still some medium security prisoners in here as well so we'll leave all of this as max security and the same as the kitchen canteen there'll be everything for now as well uh, but that is pretty much our prison now so we're dividing up everything nicely uh, so we need to get some more cells in the go here now We've got enough for 20 minimum security prisoners. Uh, 28 prisoners are arriving in the morning, so we, I doubt we'll have 20 prisoners. Uh, but let's actually designate these as cells as well. Uh, where's the cell button? There we go. Let's go and designate all of these. Beautiful. And the same up here. Yeah, there's a bit of an issue with some of these. The, the walls aren't complete in all of these. Uh, so there's probably some stuck people somewhere that are trying, some stuck workmen somewhere that are trying to actually uh, finish everything off but can't do so. So we'll have to see if we can get that sorted to see. There's some bricks there and there's a hole there. Uh, why is that not s failed to be surrounded? Ah, oh, it's because of that then. Okay, no worries, we'll try and fix that one. Okay, we should be getting our first minimum security prisoners within the next hour or so. Just trying to sort out the uh, kitchen area here. So, trying to think the best kind of plan for this. I'm thinking because it's a lot less dense than the maximum security guys over here. And everyone's a little bit more spread out. We've only got 20 prisoners here to feed. So, that's not going to need that much of a canteen and kitchen area. So... The area we have in mind here is, whoops, no, that would be the canteen, there and there, and then we would have a kitchen, a long thin kitchen running down the middle. And in that kitchen, let us lay some fridges and cookers, so probably thinking of doing some sort of cooker cooker, cooker cooker sort of thing there like that and a sink in the middle maybe 
and surround them by fridges. So that goes what? One, two, three, four. That's pretty much a hob per person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, a hob per two people. Um, so that should be plenty to keep us going. Uh, just got to keep an eye on the power now as well. Built these other extra little rooms here on the side uh, in case we need to get some more power stations. But this should be fine for what we have at the moment. Okay, we have our very first minimum security prisoners. Uh, sorry that I um, am interrupting your shower there, but I uh, just wanted to show you off to the world. Uh, we've got a couple of them. I'm not sure where they all are at the moment. That There's a janitor stuck over there. Guard, go and check them out. These extra little rooms are causing to be a bit of an issue for these janitors. Um, but yeah, we've got a few minimum security prisoners now. They're getting along nicely. He has absolutely no needs whatsoever. Uh, he's quite a big estimated chance of reoffending, but I suppose that's because he's only just got here. And yeah, dangerous driving. So he's not here for long, actually, only a day or so. <laughs> so, but yeah, we've got. I mean, I think there's about five or six of them. Let's have a quick look in the prisoners tab. Oh, there's 17 of them. So we've actually nearly filled this area. So let's uh, let's actually close that off because we won't be able to uh, cope with any more than 17. Uh, but that's really cool. So we've actually got prisoners here now. Uh, we've also got this can uh, kitchen canteen area up and running. It's a little bit of an odd design, but it's kind of... I like to say compact. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll actually, as we expand to the right, it'll expand outwards nicely and uh, there'll be room in between each one of the cell blocks to put things like... Um, you know, things like phones and TVs and stuff like that. So... Yeah, it should be should look pretty nice as time goes on. Day 100 is finally upon us. We have 548 prisoners now, so our prison is getting pretty damn big. Uh, we have what 514 high risk prisoners and seven normal risk prisoners and 27 low risk prisoners. We've got another 20 coming in in about six hours time. Not sure we'll be able to cope with another 20. Uh, depends on how many of the low risk prisoners there actually are because we've only got 13 slots left there. If it's more than 13 low risk prisoners, then we won't be able to fit them into our new cells. So we're actually going to have to start expanding our beautiful new cell block area. So let's... Uh, uh, probably best to do a little bit of planning first. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Bit of planning. Well, we'll need a 7x7 seven seven there. And then, what's this? This is 11. So we're going to need 13. And then another 7x7. Seven seven. And then that should be 11. Yes, that's correct. So then, obviously, we're going to go 2 out to get the flooring. So, the foundations. We're going to extend this like so and it's going to be there I believe that looks good so let's go to there and let's get this one out to one to there and we'll carry on like this something we haven't actually done with the new cell block area as we're building another big letter H is add some security to it. So we want some. Where are they now? The metal detectors, dog crates, phone booths. Where are the metal detectors nowadays? Are they up near the top? Electric chair. We don't want to add those in every doorway. Uh, we could do, but that might be a little bit too much of a torrent. There we go, metal detector. So we'll add these. Uh, well, I suppose we could add these at pretty much every single doorway, couldn't we? Ah, now this is a bit of an issue. All of these inmates, all of the low security inmates, are going to use the communal shower in the uh, in the holding cell. So that's not ideal. I thought that they may have actually used these showers here, uh, but obviously not. So what we're going to have to do is seal off each one of these sections and turn these into showers. Into showers. Um, not ideal, but we'll have to live with it, I suppose. So that's something we'll have to work on shortly. Okay, it's about time we brought this episode to a close here. We are approaching dinner time of day 100. So uh, we're doing pretty well at the moment. We've got 565 prisoners. The lag is starting to take its toll though. I mean, I'll give you a quick example here. Uh, a five day... Ooh, 
Just managed to get the forty thousand pound, forty thousand dollar grant completed. That's nice. That was the classroom uh, achievement thing. Um, anyway, what I was trying to say is these five day episodes used to take about an hour to play through, an hour to record. But so far, I've been working at this for two and a half hours because of the lag spikes and the auto saves and that sort of thing. Um, it's like playing. Basically, at the moment, it's like playing in the old one speed all the time so it's getting quite difficult with all this lag uh, may start a new prison at some point soon but I quite like the way things are going here hopefully um, introversion will sort out the lag issues so that we can start building some better mega prisons uh, but for now we'll bring this episode to a close this prison looks so cool at the moment if I do say so myself um, and anyway I will say thank you very much for watching until next time bye bye now